Hey guys, it's Stephen Dunn here with Ultimate Guitar, and today we're going to go over my new song Fade and how to play it. Uh, we'll do a quick run through of the song, and then afterwards I'll break down the rhythm guitar parts step by step. Uh, for those of you who are gear nerds out there, I'm going to be playing a Heritage H530 through a Bassman 10 that you can see behind me. The Bassman uh, has been black faced, and there's a 15 inch speaker instead of the four tens in there. Um, and then I'll also, I'll throw a shot of my pedal board. I've probably like a little bit of Memory Man and a Klon clone uh, going into the tone. So let's do it. <laughs> Pay with 
without a drop of whiskey. Lord, take me soon. Bury me with my brother since he's done. So there's the song. Uh, for the sake of this section, I am going to have my guitar amp quieter, uh, so it'll sound a bit different just so I can talk over it as we go over the parts. Uh, first things first, this is not in standard tuning. The tuning is D A D F A D. Um, so open D, but uh, take your take your third down to make it a minor. Uh, the first uh, thing is gonna be the opening riff, which is also the chorus riff, uh, just played a little bit differently. But you're gonna start with uh, on what would normally be your G string, it's an F in this case, on the second fret, and just slide, slide up from the second fret to the fourth fret, and then on your B string, which is now an A, play the third fret. So you're gonna go, Hammer on the fifth fret. Play your open high string. Slide back down. And then you're gonna hammer on on the second fret on your D string. While playing that F open. And then you're gonna repeat that. like a C shape but without the high finger so you're in a third fret on uh, on your A string second fret on your D and play. just ring out that chord uh, so that's the chorus and the intro both uh, the intro I play it more picked and then during the chorus I play it uh, pretty strummed out but uh, all together you know it sounds <laughs> On the chorus, uh, and you just play it with a little bit different style, but it's the same uh, basic thing. Instead of picking it more, it's the other part to this song is going to be the verses, uh, which. I just play the, the first uh, three strings on the guitar open. So that's your D-A-D. Second, second fret on uh, your A string, or third fret on your A string, sorry. Second fret on your D string. Then we're gonna hammer on second fret on uh, what would be your G string, but it's an F. do kind of the same riff slide up that uh, that I do for that that intro so then it'll be and 
So that'll be slide up to the fourth fret, hammer on third fret, slide back down to the second fret, hammer on on the second fret of your D string and play that F open. Uh, together, if you do those those that chord progression, it's. Um, depending on if I'm doing a turnaround with that progression or if I'm singing the verse, I play it a little bit differently. Um, I will chop it more while I'm singing, so it'll be. And if I'm doing the turnaround, I'll pick it more to, to open it up a little bit. The other thing that I do with that progression is on the very end of that progression, uh, I alternate or sometimes improvise that that section. Uh, so with the verse, you'll play it. That thing I play there on the second part is uh, I, I play the second fret on F, uh, third fret on what would be an A, and I slide them both up a whole step. So I do slide it up a whole step, slide it back, and then on the end. I play uh, on the third fret on, on your D string there. Uh, that's one of the ways. A lot of times I'll alternate back and forth between those two. Uh, so the first time through in a verse, I'll play. And the second time, I'll play. Uh, and then other times, I, I'll improvise it a little bit and play something different, especially live, because um, it's a little bit of fun. Last but not least is what I'll call the solo section. Uh, it's a little bit less of a guitar solo and more of a part with uh, myself and the fiddle. Um, but this section will go like this. the first half of it uh, we'll break that down a little bit more so I chug the open D there and then play the A open third fret fifth fret third fret on the D and then open so it's do it again repeated just moving it up a string so I play open D open third fifth third and open and then I do a chromatic walk up on uh, your F so third fret fourth fret fifth fret seventh fret uh, and together sounds like this uh, when I have the violin double me while while that's happening, uh, the second half after we after you do that section twice, uh, so you end with a slide up to the twelfth fret on your F. That's going to be 12 to 9 on that fret, to 7, do a hammer on back to 9, uh, 
and then I bar your top three strings and just let those ring out and then I repeat it. So. And the point of this isn't to, to be super articulate as you hear sometimes I, I grab uh, two strings there instead of just playing the one. It's kind of got that, that swampy, sloppy blues feel and the violin is, is playing uh, those single notes uh, on this. And so I, I kind of try to give it, give it more of, of the feel uh, mixed with, with the, I guess, accuracy of the fiddle uh, for that section. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, the last part of the course is gonna be back up here. We're gonna kind of mimic what we started with um, and go to open A. Just a mimic of the initial hammer on played with a different feel. Um, instead of, you know, it's and we're on the low D. Play three, five, three, and uh, then back open, and you're back into the verse. Um, on any of those, if you want to give it a little bit of, of a bend. certainly can do so and uh, it gives it a little more flavor or you can give it uh, if you have uh, you know uh, a bar on your guitar you can give it something with that as well uh, but that's how to play the song um, hope you guys enjoyed it uh, the songs will be out on October 31st on an album called death uh, so please uh, check it out let me know what you think thanks <laughs>